I'm Donnie Dunn, and today I'm not only coming to you from my YouTube channel, but I'm also coming to you from thezite.com, a website about health, fitness, and well-being. And today we're going to talk about the six tips that you can use on your weight loss journey. There's are six tips that I use to lose 150 pounds and that I still use today. Let's go. guys, Donnie Dunn back here again. Today's video is about the six tips that I use during my 150 pound weight loss journey. Before we start that, why don't you take a look at where I came from two years ago. It was me in May of 2013 at 330 pounds. All right, so this is day, Monday, Tuesday. Technically about day five. I don't know. I don't know how long it's gonna last. It might last till I fit into a size smaller pants. I have no idea. But this is my journey. This is my road back. So I stand before you today a changed man, a changed individual, a completely different mindset, and one thing I gained back that wasn't weight related since that journey was hope. And I want to set the context to these aren't canned BS tips about exercise more, eat less calories, do this diet, take this supplement. No. I'm coming at it from the perspective of trying to stay in it mentally and also using some tips to try to curb the most important factor in your weight loss, which is hunger. So let's face it, if you've had eating problems and weight gain your entire life, food is the problem. So we need to find ways to not be starving and to not be hungry during our weight loss journey because it's going to make it all the more difficult. So I just want you to know that I'm giving these tips to you based upon my experiences and based upon the experiences of others who I have advised and helped out on their weight loss journeys. That said, let's get started. Number one, tell everybody. The bigger your support system is when you start your weight loss journey, the more likely you are to succeed. Because everyone's going to know that you're on a diet, they're going to be more mindful and they're going to be more respectful. And if they're not more mindful and if they're not more respectful, then you might want to consider whether or not they are true friends of yours. Because when I started my journey, I told everyone what I was doing. I told everybody that I was upset with my quality of life and I was disgusted with myself and that I wanted to change. Everybody respected it and that respect goes a long way because if you're out to dinner with them or you're in different social settings with them, the more people that know that you're on a diet, the less likely they are to offer you a piece of cake, piece of candy, or any other food option that you're trying to avoid. The more support you have, the more likely you will be to succeed. Number two, make sure your diet is in check before you go full throttle with your exercise. Now. I am not advocating to not do exercise. Movement initiates change. But let me tell you something. Your diet is what got you where you are in the first place, not your lack of exercise. That's why we are in the situations that we are, because of our food problems. I have a food addiction for life that I have to monitor and I have to stick with a certain diet. But on my road back, I made sure that I was locked into that diet before I started any type of rigorous exercise program. I started with light walking, definitely, because you still want to move. But the more exercise you do, the hungrier you're going to be because you're expending more calories. The last thing you want to do when you're just starting your journey is to fall off the wagon after a crazy workout because your hunger was just uncontrollable. Start moving, move at a slow pace. Focus on the diet first. Make sure you are locked in. Make sure that when you get cravings, you're able to defeat those and bypass those. Once you get to a point where you feel you're locked in, then start ramping up the routine. Start going harder. Start pushing yourself. Start challenging yourself. Because once you're locked into the diet, you know you're not going to fall off no matter what happens. And then you can start focus on even more chiseling away of that fat. It took me about 30 days of the diet I chose to do before I started working out. Around 30 days is when I know that my cravings were gone, I was able to defeat them and not give in, and I knew that I could start testing myself and start pushing myself. Number three, use your success as motivation for others and take that on as a new responsibility. The more you succeed, 
the more that your friends and family see that you succeed. And there may be some of them that have not yet started their weight loss journeys. And they see your success and it gives them hope. But if you stop, then what motivation do they have to even start? So start using that as fuel to your fire. That's what I did. The more people started seeing me succeed, the more I was able to lead by example. And it's a hell of a feeling when people reach out to you and ask you how you got to where you got to and ask you for help. So lead by example. Let your success fuel your fire and take that on as a responsibility to keep going. I hope these tips have helped you guys out. If any of you want to reach out to me, ask questions. I'm here. You can find me on YouTube. You can find me on Twitter. You can add me on Facebook. I'm here, and I know the struggles you're going through. But if you take these tips into consideration and apply them to your journey, you'll succeed. I'm Donnie Dunn. Thanks for watching me on thezite.com. We'll see you next time.